At Trader Joe's, I bought some meals for Kevin to review on his lunchtime review channel. So if any of these things look interesting, he's going to be reviewing them there. Uh, this is pepperoni pizza mac and cheese ball. This is um, uh, chicken quesadillas. This is a chicken pot pie. This is tortellini, uh, ricotta and spinach. I didn't see it said spinach. Tortellini with uh, red pesto. Uh, this is cod uh, with uh, ratataville and rice. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Kevin will have to worry about that on his channel. <laughs> and this is facility with vegetables and basil pesto. And then I bought these to review. These are uh, organic mini cheese sandwich crackers and mini peanut butter sandwich crackers. And then I, we've never tried the everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. So I bought some of that. And then they had these uh, everything but the bagel nut duo with almonds and cashews. So I thought we'd give those a try. At Whole Foods, um, this is a, a store exclusive. Uh, this is Ben and Jerry's Berry Sweet Marscapone. And then I bought some Cool House. I bought Midnight Munchies. And I bought Bananas Foster. And then I bought uh, four of the 365 brand, which is Whole Foods brand. This is uh, Almond Milk, uh, Chocolate Chip Peanut Butter Swirl. And this is a Peanut Butter Cup and Caramel. This one is Almond Milk. It is Berry Chantilly Cake. And this one is called Coffee and Donut. Also at Whole Foods, these were new. Uh, these are apple rosemary shortbread cookies and lemon basil chia shortbread cookies. And then I bought some uh, milk bar milk. This is cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow cookies, confetti, and compost cookies. And then this is new. Uh, chimchurri uh, flavored popcorn and so I'll show you the rest of what we got I'm gonna get this ice cream in the freezer and we'll be back at a local bread discount store uh, they had a uh, tasty cake and mrs. Freshly's fruit pies these are both uh, cherry so I figured we would compare those and also the tasty cake and the mrs. Freshly's lemon they also had mrs. Freshly's apple and chocolate but they didn't have those in tasty cake um, at Aldi, I bought uh, some wholesome granola cookie bites. They had blueberry, chocolate and coconut, hazelnut, and almond. Uh, they also had the Clancy's birthday cake popcorn, which I thought sounded good. And then uh, they had the uh, Quesa Mamita. Uh, this is um, uh, street corn. These are Big Dipper corn chips. Like uh, I'm expecting them to be like Fritos. And then these are uh, crispy taco flavored, and these are queso fundido uh, flavored, cheese and chorizo flavored. And then at Walmart, Ashley bought a, a little butter ball uh, turkey. She brought some uh, Duncan Hines perfectly moist dark chocolate fudge cake mix. She bought uh, two of the Ben and Jerry's half bake. That's her favorite. She bought two of the Sparkling Ice Classic Lemonade. Um, this is a Gatorade Cool Blue. And then she bought some Power Aids. She bought two of the Fruit Punch and two of the Grape. She bought two of these uh, lemon juice uh, lemons. Um, she bought some uh, sweetened condensed milk, some Hershey's Hot Fudge uh, topping. Uh, some Nestle Toll House um, milk chocolate morsels. Uh, she said that their apples looked absolutely horrible. So instead of getting uh, Honeycrisp apples, she bought these. The Dippin' Sticks with sliced apples and peanut butter. She bought a uh, coloring book, uh, which this is over in the, like, the school supply section. Uh, where you get like boxes and box tape and stuff like that. Uh, they have a section um, on the back wall over there in our Walmart where you can get adult coloring books. And then she bought two bags of Lay's Wavy Chips. At Walmart, I bought uh, Kevin some of this uh, McCafe uh, premium roast coffee. He has not really been enjoying the Maxwell House. He said that it just tastes like cheap coffee to him. So I got him this to see if he likes it. Um, I also bought some creamer, which we use in coffee, and sweetener for coffee. Um, Ashley wanted some of this Dean's French onion dip to go with some Lay's uh, wavy potato chips that she has. 
I bought two of the Dana Light and Fit uh, vanilla yogurts. I was gonna get some more of uh, the granola that I like, but they were out of the kind I like, so I'll just wait and get it next time I go. Uh, I bought some Quilted Northern toilet paper, uh, some Bounty napkins, we were completely out. Uh, I bought some waters, uh, some lens wipes, got those. Uh, Glad uh, has changed their bags. They have like a see-through thing now. And uh, so anyway, uh, it's the same bag, same garbage bags. I got those. I got some dental tape. And I bought uh, baby wipes. The reason I bought these is because right now they are out of... Uh, the only thing really they haven't gotten back in is like Clorox wipes and um, what's the... Uh, Lysol wipes. So what I use... Uh, to clean a lot, I do like the baseboards and stuff like that. I don't need a Clorox wipe or a Lysol wipe to do baseboards. Baby wipes are just fine. So I bought these. They were pretty cheap. And I figure, um, you know, it doesn't matter if the baseboards get Lysol or not. So I'm just going to use baby wipes. And if anything, I can always spray Windex or something on them if I want to add, to, add something to it. At Target, I bought Gavin and Amelia some new coloring books. They had um, had them up there in like the, the dollar section. It used to be just a dollar. Now it's like three or four dollars. Uh, but anyway, they're, uh, I bought uh, Amelia 2. One of them's mini, and then this one's a unicorn one. And then I bought Gavin these two Mandalorian ones. I know he'll like these. Uh, it says colortivity. So that's the only thing is these are not strictly coloring books. There's also activities to do in there. So it's hard to just get a coloring book, which is what I like is just uh, coloring. Uh, then I bought a family size bag of the Kind Healthy Grains peanut butter. I love this stuff. Um, I bought these uh, new Quest bars for us to try. These are snack bars. This is a peanut uh, chocolate crunch. And the, this is a sea salt caramel almond, and this is chocolate mixed nuts. So if you know Quest Bars, normally they don't have nuts like this, uh, so it'll be fun to try those. And someone had told me about a new Quest Bar. They were out of it. I looked for it, so I'll just have to keep looking for it. Um, Kevin is going to be reviewing these on his Lunchtime Review channel. Uh, these are the new uh, Smuckers Uncrustables. These two are Heat and Eat. So you have taco bites and you have barbecue chicken bites. And then these you just thaw and eat. These are uncured ham and cheddar roll-ups and turkey and Colby Jack roll-ups. And then I found a new flavor uh, of the Cheesecake Factory ice cream. This is cookies and cream. We haven't tried that one. Um, and then at the Fresh Market, they had the uh, limited edition Tate's Bake Shop. These are strawberries and oats. They did not have the lemon. I was looking for those too, but they didn't have them. So instead I bought these uh, Dewey's Bakery. These are the donut shop and these are the cinnamon bun cookies. So I thought those sounded really good. I bought these real coconut grain free tortilla chips, which mm. uh, Kevin and I really like coconut. So I thought these sounded good. We have sea salt and vinegar, Himalayan pink salt and splash of lime. And then I bought these Maddie and Mays. Uh, this is small batch gourmet popcorn. So I bought the dark chocolatey caramel, raspberry lemonade, and birthday cake. At Walgreens, I got some more of the zero sugar Skittles singles to go. We absolutely love these. And then I bought these sweet tarts ropes. Uh, these are uh, tropical punch flavor. And then they also had the uh, twisted rainbow punch. At the Dollar General store, I bought these new planters. They are hot and spicy cashews. I thought they looked good. And then I bought two of these anniversary edition Haribo Passport Mix. Um, if you've watched any of our reviews, sometimes we'll buy one of these and we don't get all the flavors. Um, so I bought two of them so that I can make sure if we don't get all the flavors in one, we'll get it in the next one, hopefully. Um, at... Um, CVS, uh, in last week's grocery haul, I believe, I bought a bunch of Arizona teas. So these were ones that I saw at CVS that we had not bought yet. This is the Fruit Punch. This one is called uh, Golden Bear Light Lemonade. Uh, this one is Grape Aid. And then we have Watermelon. And then we have Kiwi Strawberry. And then at Save-A-Lot, uh, Jean had asked me, do you go to Save-A-Lot very often? And I don't because it is like 
it's kind of out in the country for us. We just don't go there very often because it's in a very odd place. So today I made sure I went to save a lot to see if they had anything new. They had these uh, Ricky Joy Mellow Cones. These are blueberry and these are strawberry and I thought those would be fun to try. And then I bought two JJ's Bakery Pies, uh, the um, birthday cake and the strawberry, uh, chocolate strawberry. And then these are called Sunnies and they're uh, chocolate, cherry, and apple pies. And then I saw these uh, freeze-dried fruit crisps, and uh, they have Disney characters on. I bet you, now that I'm looking at the characters, I bet you there was one with Mickey, but they only had boxes for these three flavors. So there may be another flavor that they just didn't have. Uh, this one is the uh, Asian pear, banana and strawberry, and the Fuji apple and cinnamon. Then I bought these drinks. I thought they looked, uh, they sounded fun to try. They're called Bug Juice. This is Fruity Punch, Berry Raspberry, Outrageous Orange, and Lemony Lime. And then uh, these I thought uh, sounded interesting to try as well. Uh, this is, uh, they're called Oka, OKA, -A, I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, sparkling nectar. This one's passion fruit, pineapple, watermelon, and mango. Well, I went back to Dollar General because Megan told me that they had these new planters cheese balls. These are jalapeno cheddar. So I went back to Dollar General and grabbed those. Um, I went to Walmart. Our Walmart had the milk chocolate Lotus Biscoff sandwich cookies. And they also had the new Oreo Thins. These are the dark chocolate cream flavor. And then I went in Kroger. And I got another one of these uh, muffins. This is a private selection. That's a Kroger brand. Uh, this is a double chocolate muffin. And then Kevin, for his lunchtime review, will be reviewing this Red's Steak Fajita Bowl. And then this new, uh, this, I thought it was Lean Cuisine, but then when I looked at it, it says Life Cuisine. And it's a low-carb lifestyle. It's uncured turkey, bacon, and aged white cheddar egg bites. And then I bought a loaf of bread.